Robert Kubica is going to be plumb last in qualifying. Lando Norris goes fastest overall uh, with a 133.3. Ricardo improves to sixth fastest. It pushes his teammate now down to 10th. Danny Kriat from 14th to 11th. That'll be good news uh, for Hulkenberg. Kevin Magnussen, who was flying uh, from 13th, now goes sixth fastest. Uh, where else are we looking to now? Roman Grosjean, who needs to get out of the danger zone, goes 13th, and that certainly uh, puts him on the cusp of elimination. Lance Stroll next across the line. 15th to 9th for Lance Stroll, and he should get out of Q1 there. George Russell next, who's the only man on the grid to out-qualify his teammate at every single race so far this season. Crosses the line, and from 19th goes 16th ahead of Raikkonen. And Giovinazzi was still to cross the line. Raikkonen will be next to cross the line. Goes 15th, right on the cusp. That could be good news for Grosjean. Giovinazzi goes 15th, pushes Kimi Raikkonen back into the relegation zone. Pierre Gasly now leaps up to fourth fastest. So the two alphas do go out and Roman Grosjean survives by seven one hundredths of a second. Lando Norris, meanwhile, currently ninth fastest at the moment in his last Grand Prix this weekend as a teenager. Goes from ninth to seventh. Might be enough for Lando Norris, certainly an improvement. And he did improve by about half a second as Kevin Magnussen stays 10th fastest. That's not good news for him or for the Haas team. He's not been in Q3 here since his McLaren days in 2014. Next across the line, Roman Grosjean Haas, both out in Q2. Carlos Sainz then might have a bit of breathing space as he crosses the line. He's 8th fastest behind his teammate Lando Norris. Hulkenberg from 15th goes 10th, pushes Magnussen out of it. You knew one of them was going to push Magnussen down and it's uh, Hulkenberg as then he gets pushed out by his teammate Daniel Ricciardo. Pierre Gasly uh, is now currently on the bubble as Sebastian Vettel goes fastest and Charles Leclerc then takes over by two one hundredths of a second. Verstappen slowing down, doesn't want to better his time from before, doesn't need to. Danny Kriat tries desperately to get past his teammate Pierre Gasly, but he can't manage it. Danny Kriat has his lap time deleted. That's cost him a place, uh, or two places, to Magnussen and to Hulkenberg. All a bit close, doesn't it? Yeah. And Lewis Hamilton. So is that starting to back off? Oh, dear. Lewis this all so uh it's his problem this what's happening down the back straights speeds i would imagine around about 205 miles an hour the drs wide open by the time he slams on the brakes and heads into turn 12 behind him charles leclerc has gone a tenth fastest during the first sector there is hamilton with a 36 8 for the middle sector a little bit of overstair turning in there had to hesitate a bit a 36-7 for Valtteri Bottas through the middle sector. Carlos Sainz and Pierre Gasly setting the first two times are already into the 132s with Carlos Sainz. Gasly just a little bit further down, I think, on used tyres. Bottas might just have a little advantage over Hamilton as it stands through the first two sectors. But where do they all add up when we cross the line? And the line comes at you very fast indeed. Hamilton, a 132-3. Bottas rounds the final corner. That could be beatable by Valtteri Bottas and is a 132-0. He's nearly three tenths up on his teammate. Sebastian Vettel next across the line by 12 thousandths of a second. Goes second. Charles Leclerc crosses the line next. Third fastest with a 132-2. Meanwhile, Max Verstappen on track at the moment. Tenth down in the first sector. Two tenths down in the middle sector. Goes third fastest with a very fine final sector. The flag is flying then. The session is over. They are, of course, allowed to finish these flying laps. And Valtteri Bottas, the provisional pole sitter, wasn't the fastest through that first sector either. I wonder if the track is getting a little bit slower in places because none of the drivers are troubling the purple sectors and Sebastian Vettel is a tenth out through that middle sector. Max Verstappen making his way round the final corner now. He's currently third fastest. He was 18th on the grid last year. Managed to finish second. Verstappen stays third fastest. Here comes his teammate then, Alexander Albon, currently sixth fastest. Albon stays sixth fastest. Sebastian Vettel, can he put that Ferrari on pole? No, he can't. Valtteri Bottas is surviving the challenges one by one by one. They all fail to match the fin. Charles Leclerc stays 
stays in fourth as well. Alex Albon's had his lap time deleted for exceeding track limits. Lewis Hamilton aborts his lap because he can't better it. This man, Valtteri Bottas, is on pole here in Austin for the first time ever. And guess who's on pole? <laughs> yes! Thanks, guys. Indeed. Valtteri, congratulations, Mecca. Thanks, that was cool. Valtteri Bottas takes the smallest pole in the history of the Circuit of the Americas by 12 thousandths of the second. Vettel starts second, Verstappen third. Don't forget, Verstappen finished on the podium from 18th last year. Uh, behind Verstappen comes Leclerc, then Hamilton. Alex Albon, soft tyres for Albon. Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris lock out row four. Sainz now leads 10-9 in that McLaren battle. Ricardo ahead of Pierre Gasly. 